It's 8 a.m., you just woke up, and you see a notification on your future phone. You see a list filled with a few links you can choose from, and the links include different sorts of jobs and projects you can work on or jump in, and you will have the ability to choose whatever you want, all based on your current skills. You can also pick the job you want by looking at the predictions on how much it will help your growth, and overall creating all sorts of interconnected feedback loops. You can pick up the one you like based on your social connections and chances of success. You do the work, you get your feedback, you get your score, and then you unplug and get on with your life. Now. Future of work is going to look a lot different than what we are used today. Hardcore commutes, traffic, bad weather, we will leave all of that behind. I'm sorry. You will be an individual micro brand ready to be helpful and contribute to the market. You can see yourself like a Swiss army knife juggling multiple skills and being able to pick whatever you feel like working on. All right, enough. And this type of service is kind of already available online. Uber popularized this idea with your drivers being able to clock in and out whatever they want. Freelancers are using platforms like Fiverr to buy and sell a variety of digital services typically offered by freelance contractors. Reporters are writing for massive publications like The New Yorker or The New York Times, but they also own a big personal network through their Twitter profile. They have an individual brand. And you can also look at other digital artists, such as photographers who are building their brands on Instagram and other social networks. And podcasters are also taking over the world. And what we can see right now is that we are sort of reversing the industrial revolution. We are shrinking it down. We might get to a point where almost everyone on the planet will work for themselves. Because let's face it, humans will not work in factories anymore. As everything will be taken over by micro robots or Jeffy B. And the information flow will move so quickly and so rapidly. And it will eventually affect our minds. And the merge with an AI entity would probably be our best bet. But when thinking about the future individual, the future worker, this guy will be an even more important node in a network. No more showing up on the assembly line and clocking in and clocking out, but more asynchronous communication, batching tasks and reducing dependencies. And this is where the modern worker should learn and adapt. Thinking about the future and also living in the present kinda pushes us to rethink the way we work. And the modern worker should work like a lion should hunt like a lion. The future worker should uh, be able to train and sprint and then rest and then reassess. And of course go back out there and try it again. That's right, no more time wasted in idle meetings or endless, oftentimes pointless emails and huge coffee breaks, as we are gradually seeing an atomized industry. And knowing how to be good with computers should be the modern literacy, in this new atomized world of course. And as I usually say it, an individual who will be able to navigate through its intricate webs will be the valedictorian of the future. And we are slowly and gradually getting there. But nowadays it can be easy for people to burn out, since they they do not have any support structures in place to reinforce that cycle. And again we should not measure quality and value in time spent. The 40 to 50 hour weeks concept was part of the industrial era. We need better markets, we need better solutions. We again are witnessing the atomization of society. Young people are alone in their apartment using apps to communicate with the outside world and mimicking the idea of real socializing. Friends are not nearby anymore and most of them are digital nomads living and working from their van and a simple Instagram story will kind of satisfy your need to see them. Kind of. But we are also seeing cool stuff as well. As this atomization process is uh, happening in areas like medicine, with the shift from fee for service to value-based care. We have large amounts of data allowing us to measure the value in units other than hours. TV medicine is on the spot. And I agree that there are some things which are more achievable when working in a team, in the same building. But for most of the jobs of the future, remote work is going to be a key ingredient. And I don't want to get into some sort of crazy theory, but the 2020 global situation kind of pushed the boundaries of office working versus remote working and challenged companies and people to reevaluate how they do things. 
And I'm saying it again, I believe that the future of work and also education is about speed learning, how to use the internet to extract, connect and build on bits of information coming from big data and doing things like, you know, self-training so that you can be able to participate on a lucrative job market and also competitive as well. It's about learning how to pull out trustworthy resources and knowledge repositories and ultimately connecting the dots faster than anyone else. And in the end, I still believe that it is not a question of hard work but more about efficiency, longevity and peace.